All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yeah another oh yeah. And yes, it is slick early in the morning. I don't know why I have so much energy, but today, man, we need to go ahead. Head out to the mall and hit it and hit it hard. Also, want to head out to the thrift store, maybe hit a thrift or two, and want to check out Ross because I hadn't checked out Ross in a while to see if we can find any steals. But before we get into all that and finesse gang, I got you on a second. Listen, new sample industries drop is this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. New tennis collection is dropping, so we get y'all ready for the spring and summer, even though the weather has been kind of playing around lately. But new hats shirts and shorts dropping saturday at 8 p.m sample ind.com and with that all of the way you already know what we gotta do let me slide over here and say shouts out to the finesse gang those who get here early subscribe finesse the bell leave a like drop a comment all that good shit, and you might see your name up on the screen right over here so as i was saying bro today's mission is first off shadow tens are dropping i am running a little late by, by the time i watch right here i am running a little bit late so we need to head out asap also want to hit the thrift see if we can find any blessings and at the same time maybe hit ross or marshall's and do a little bit of sneaker hunting to see if we can find any steals out there so with that being said man that is today's mission that is what we're doing today finesse gang i really do appreciate you guys these last couple of days i'm not gonna lie to y'all i haven't been feeling the best the views haven't been the best and i'm just kind of thinking of different things to do and just trying to make sure i keep up the good quality content make sure i'm keeping up the edits and stuff and making sure that everybody that comes to watch my videos can enjoy them so for right now let's go ahead and hit the mall and then see whatever else we get into new videos dropping and people have been asking me for a top 10 sneakers or top 10 and spring and summer sneakers for this year so expect that video very very soon but with all that said hey finesse gang i appreciate y'all but i gotta move you off the screen it is time to head out to the mall so let's get it you be dead down how was i jet now when play ready yo don't match the flicks now i just got a new farm gotta go part the beat now and i got the dogs with me yeah better call the vet now I want some inside head now. About to call my bitch now. I got a Harley bitch now. About to pass you Ricks now. I do the whip, no. Forgive me for the times I was down and confused. I know yes. what I reap is what I will sow. Yes. Once again, Vicks now. I got kills in Vicks now. I'm about to Luke can't kick it now. I'm about to chow with the shit now. Now, now. Real bitch talking my kicks. Whoa. Baby, put your tongue on my dick. All right, y'all, we are back. And usually what I do is I just check to see if anyone's standing outside. Now I'm a little late. I'm just a little bit, just a little bit late, but I don't see anybody, but it is like right at 10 a.m. And that's when the mall opens. So let me go in here. Hopefully I can go ahead and get my size in these joints and uh, the resellers and everybody else ain't eating them up already within the first two minutes of the mall opening. So give me a second. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted because of the, uh, the J. Cole. Like I was saying, we are out here live, and let me try not to get hit by a car. And it seems pretty light. It's seeming pretty light right now. I see one guy in front of me who looks like he might be here to buy some shadows. But other than him, I think we're going to be good to go. And I watched him walk in the mall, and they tell me these joints are sold out, or that they don't have no 11 and a halfs or no 12. Just give me a second. I'll be back. I put ice on my kids. I put red in my dress. I got hit with my miss. Alright y'all, and we are back and I think what just happened is that it's Friday, people are working and because I don't have a real job, that allows me to come and uh, see what else they got in here. But they do, they do have them right here, the Shadow Air Jordan 10s right on the shelf, sitting for the kid. And I will definitely take that easy W. I'm not sure how they're doing online. I haven't really checked. Matter of fact, I'll check Nike in a second, but I'm actually really liking the latest Shadow 10s. I, all the 10s that I had before, I think I've let go of most of them. But these, I think the gray and the black, and just because I'm on like a shadow, a shadow thing right now, I got the shadow one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these shadow tens and let me go ahead and try these on and see how they fit real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show you yeah, something that yeah, probably yeah, seen before, yeah. but seen it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Physically fit, smoking that shit you can't get. If it don't make dollars, damn well it 
don't make sense Got my crib out in Cali, buy everything for my kid You hear me talk about it, fucking right, it's what I live So we're back, but there's one problem going on right now So I tried on four pairs of these shadows, right? And I still like to shoot but if you are buying these, when you walk in the store, just make sure you are checking your pairs out. And I got them laid out right now because I'm looking at every different pair and there's like little little things, there's like little dings on each pair. And there's like the quality control, I don't, I don't really know how it is at every store. And of course it's not the store's fault or anything. I'm still gonna get a pair because it's not super major on every pair. But just letting y'all know, whenever you get your pair in, whenever you're shopping around, just check them out before you go ahead and go fully through it. I'm still gonna get a pair, don't worry about that. But I'm just saying, that's the one problem. Make sure you're checking out the pairs and just check out the quality control on them because some of them, some of them you might have to go ahead, send back a Nike and get a new pair. But other than that, solid. Solid so far, but I'm gonna be right back. Lean back, hit the chronic. She like, why it's so intense? I say, don't worry about it. Keep your mind up on these chips and these niggas out plotting. They broke so they got something against us. Pot, we smoke it anyway. So we are done with foot action for the day. And I actually had another surprise cop in foot action. And we're gonna get into that later. But the bag, the bag is already secure, bro. You already know how we do. And since it is a Friday, everyone's at work. So it was super easy, bro. I was kind of worried. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was, I was slick worried. But once I walked in the store and it just wasn't that many people in there, I wasn't as worried anymore. I'm pretty sure once Saturday kicks in and everybody starts coming to the mall, or maybe when the kids get out of school today, they're gonna come and flood the mall and cop them up. But I think by Sunday, they'll probably be out of here. But I guess we'll just have to see. Next up, y'all know where I have to go. I gotta stop by Come and see if they got any new stuff in. So that's where we're headed. And we are back. Y'all already know what time it is, bro. I told y'all we had to do a little bit of thrifting, at least a little bit of thrifting today. Salvation Army is in the back, and hopefully there are some blessings inside this spot for the kid. It's been kind of light lately. With the seasons changing, it's kind of been iffy here and there, but hopefully today I can at least get blessed by the thrift guys with something. We can walk away with something, so let's go ahead, head in. Also letting you guys know, thrifting video, I will be working on that, okay, soon, very soon, because I already got footage, I just need to go out one day and just literally dedicate a day to just like all over thrifting. So, I will be right back. Let's go in. So this time, I, I asked the thrift guys up here. I asked the thrift guys up here somewhere. I said, can y'all bless me with something? And they definitely blessed me with something. So honestly, at this point, I don't need to hit Ross, but I told y'all I was gonna hit it just to see if we can come with any deals. So that's what we're gonna do now, but just know Salvation Army, thrift guys, thank thank you. I appreciate those blessings, but let's go ahead and get back on the road. So as you guys can see, we are back. The place, Ross, Dress for Less, is in the background. So, once again, I don't know who the Ross gods are, but maybe we can get lucky today, who knows? So we gonna head in here real quick. If it's dead, I'll tell you, and I'll just go ahead and skip through it. If it's not dead, there's a couple things, I'll go ahead and leave it in the vlog and on the camera. So, Ross, Dress for Less, that is the next spot. Don't get to a comfortable point and back off. Gotta be sharp, the game's filled with whack artists. I ain't hating on you, dog. Get yours. But don't ever think I'm convinced. These eyes covered by lenses. 
cause I'm probably high as your rent. Okay, so guys, I don't know what it is about today, but bruh, I found a major steal for 30 bucks. $30 steal, bro, $200 shoes for 30 bucks. I mean, they don't have a box, and I'm trying not to get killed by this lady. She stopped, which is good. So 30 bucks, bro, a $200 shoe for $30 out of Ross. Okay, I'm done for today, bro. It's time to get back to the crib. I will see y'all there, bro. Alright y'all, and we are back at the crib, back in the studio, and yes, today we did come away with a few bags. I mean, one bag full of thrift blessings, the second bag was a pretty good steal from Ross, and I understood why it was such a good steal after I read the receipt, but we're gonna get into that. A couple new pickups from Commonwealth, and of course, the main bag right here from Foot Action. So, first off, I'm gonna just jump into some of the stuff that I got from the thrift store, just because y'all know I'm be working on that full thrift video. And I wasn't gonna show you guys everything. I was just gonna kind of flash a couple things and y'all can see what I got. First off, I did cop that Delta Studio hat. I kind of saw this last minute. It is a little pancakey, but I'm pretty sure I can get it shaped up right. I just really like the washout effect on this one. Washout effect, y'all hear that a lot on this channel. Just like the look on this one, then I grabbed what? Some gray t-shirt, this weird like, uh, what was this lake tahoe hazard joint was all over gray i just really like the wash on that one as well all over white uss was this george washington like coming home tea it was just a lot of stuff that was at the thrift so those are a couple of the pickups i'm gonna save the rest for the actual full thrifting video and hopefully i can have that up by wednesday of next week maybe run out to the thrifts on tuesday so that was most of the thrift store for now so let's get into the next bag now i found these at ross and i know that this shoe retails for 200 dollars. and when i actually read the uh, receipt it says that these were supposed to be, let me see, Jordan Ultra Flies, and that's why they were 30 bucks. But this is like a, a Nike, kind of soccer to lifestyle shoe right here, and these were only 30 bucks, and I know these retailed at 200 because I remember when they came out, they had these at Marshalls as well, and the tag on the shoe actually said a size 11, but it was really a size 12. So I said, hey, all white sneaker, kind of has that soccer vibe to it, big swoosh on the top, why not let me go ahead and grab these for 30 bucks i thought it was a pretty good deal a pretty good steal that's 170 less than what i would have paid for them brand new so 30 dollars still nike a shout out to the ross and shouts out to the ross guys out there blam got those as well so let's get into the mall pickups the bag that y'all should be all too familiar with by now and I actually cop two brand new 10 deep tees Y'all know I used to be a 10 deep guy and I feel like I still am the 10 deep guy somewhere on the inside. And I've been really liking some of the new stuff that they've been dropping lately. So this tee right here is actually the Chief Rocker tee. This is part of their new spring and summer collection. I did want the short sleeve version of this, but they didn't have that in my size. So I had to go ahead and grab the long sleeve version of it. If I really want to, I can just chop the sleeves off of it and keep it moving. So this is the Chief Rocker joint. You guys can see the really, really big logo, really, really big print on the back right here. Just says deep vision, deep. Then it has an Indian Chief on the back. And this same logo is on the front. Just really small. So this was my first cop. Just some new 10 deep. Y'all always know, new 10 deep. Can't have enough new 10 deep, really. Then this second tee I have right here is called the No Peace Tee. And um, it's so funny, because I was like following them on IG, and when they posted this t-shirt, they got a lot of flack because people were trying to like call them out and say that they were getting their inspirations from Supreme and their new Public Enemy collection. Since they actually posted pictures of this, I think either a day or two right after Supreme dropped their whole Public Enemy thing. And for those of you that don't know how, you know, making clothing works, if you're not just going somewhere and printing a t-shirt off at your local spot, it doesn't, you can't make a brand new sample in a day and have it shipped to you. It just usually doesn't work like that, especially if you're working from overseas, which I'm assuming 10 Deep is, maybe they're not, but this was a no piece tee. Once again, all over washed out charcoal color, and you just have your piece sign with the crosshairs over top of it, reminiscent of the Public Enemy logo, and it was just gray, black, and white. I mean, throw this on with the shadows, and I mean, that's a real easy way to match it, but throw it on with the shadows and just keep it moving. Real simple, real easy. And then the last bag, of course, is right here. Foot action bag, shadow tins were secured. And like I said, man, make sure you are checking your pairs to make sure there aren't any like imperfections and stuff. I went through a, a couple different pairs and picked out the best shoes for me. So 
Shadow 10 is right here. Really like the quality on these, aside from some of the mistakes that were made on some of the pairs, but overall, I thought they did a pretty good job. Um, the box was so funny because even though I really like how they did like the OG style box, it really does feel like an old fake box that you really got with some fake 10s. And then the last pickup is right here. And I was so conflicted with this t-shirt because I didn't even see it at first. And I was like, bro, like, why is this t-shirt in foot action right now? And I, I almost didn't cop it. If it wasn't liquid blue, if it wasn't liquid blue branded, I definitely wouldn't have copped it. But it was the all over skull pile, skull pile t-shirt, the old liquid blue joint. And it was funny because I wasn't gonna cop the Supreme collab because I was just gonna go on eBay and go grab one of the old red skull joints. And they had blue and they had green and foot action. And this t-shirt was 34 bucks and I got it in an XL, so all over. And I really liked it because it didn't feel like a new t-shirt to me. It does feel just like I, I imagine an old t-shirt would be. It kind of has like that thin feeling to it. And uh, yeah, it was just liquid blue, true to liquid blue style. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Even though it was super weird and I like, I was hating on it. I definitely was hating on the t-shirt in the store because this, I don't feel like it should be in foot action, but you know, it was there and I went ahead and grabbed this joint. Liquid blue tea, why not? Cause I was gonna cop the old one regardless. So anyways, man, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb by the way, here, there, buzz it, but of course, the shoes are down there. So bull.rc and I'm gonna see y'all on that next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. New videos very soon. Shouts out to the Finesse Gang. Much love, I am out of here. Peace. I just got a new farm.